Hello everybody and welcome to the Queen's Curry Kitchen. What are we making today? We are making a stir fry with tofu and vegetables. And the most important thing that we're going to do is we are going to learn how to use a wok at home. So wok one on one, get it really, 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 really. It should be a well seasoned wok. After you wash your wok, always wipe it otherwise it gets rusted. I have a flat bottom wok. You can see it's flat at the bottom. Put your heat to really, really high. And then drizzle some oil along the walls of the wok. Never put oil in the middle. Always drizzle oil along the walls of the wok. So that when the heat rises, all your food will cook evenly. All right. So in this recipe, we are going to use a shit ton of garlic and ginger, which is right here. We have one packet of tofu which i have chopped up and cut into cubes i have some mushrooms that were sitting in my fridge that really needed to be eaten i had some carrots that needed to be eaten left over after my pickling uh, project and then these are some red bell peppers that i had this is a liquid that contains cornstarch it's a slurry so it contains cornstarch cold water sugar vinegar soy sauce some ketchup and a lot of hot sauce okay so this is going to go really quick stay with me we are going to start with the holy trinity of chinese food the ginger garlic and the red chili now whenever you're doing a ginger garlic and red chilies always take a little bit of the garlic and put it on the side because that's the thing we're going to put all the way in the end to give it that finishing touch Okay, so in goes the ginger and the garlic. I will give you tips as we go along. Hey, Nana, good to see you in this Chinese wok 101 class. In goes crushed red peppers. So a lot of times, you know, whenever you order from the restaurant, this is the order of things in which they make it. Give it a good stir. Make complete use of the heat in the pan. Um, I think I just have a regular store-bought like a Texas hot sauce or something. It's not even like a Chinese hot sauce. And you know, nowadays it's like make whatever you got with what you got. All right, so you can see it's nice and aromatic. You want to keep stirring this very quickly. The heat is on high. Nothing changes. Okay, now you take this and push it to the back. Okay, when you push it to the back, you still have all this surface to work on push it to the back the heat is not so high over there and we're going to go in and char our vegetables again hit some oil you can do this with peanut oil any kind of oil we are going to put our red peppers in there carrots <coughs> oh god mushroom <coughs> Yep, all that smoke from the wok. Give it a stir, mix it in. Give it a good mix, okay? And then just try to layer it out in one layer so everything will get a chance to be in contact with the hot surface of your wok. Okay, that, that is key to developing that charred flavor. So we are going to give it a couple of minutes. It says stir fry, but you don't have to constantly stir. So if you let it sit in the wok and get that coloring, it'll thank you for it. Right here, we have our rice going. It's almost ready. We are going to serve this with basmati rice. There you go. A cup and a half of rice with three cups of water boiled down. And when you see holes on the top, you just cover it and turn your flame to low. And then now I'm going to turn it off because it's almost cooked. Alrighty, coming back to our Walk 101 series. Now you see there's some kind of color there, so push it to the back. Whenever you want to still, look at this mushroom, how cool is that? Whenever you still want to keep cooking a little bit, but you also need your surface, just push it to the back. That should do it. <coughs> Another drizzle of oil. All the tofu goes in. Oh boy, those peppers. Oh, God bless me. And you, and America, and this whole world actually right now. Alrighty, so this tofu is gonna sit in this wok for a few seconds, and we'll really pretty much practice the same technique 
we are going to let it come in contact with the wok so that it can develop that charred flavor if you need to push your wok back so it's not directly under the heat but the tofu is under the heat and not the vegetables because you don't want your vegetables to get soft okay so yes walk and roll wednesday walk and roll sony yeah what is that song dole mante de liye walk and roll sony yeah kabhi tu bhi to mere sang ba yeah that's from a bollywood movie i'm crazy like that i have some cilantro sitting on my chopping board and i just decided to throw it in If you feel like it's gonna get stuck to the bottom, just drizzle a little oil. You can also do it with uh, cooking spray. No problem. Okay. Now most Chinese takeout has too much sugar, so when you make this at home, you can absolutely control how much sugar or honey you're using. You see how the tofu is getting that color on it? You see that little brownness? Yep. So we're gonna leave it in there. I think it's liking it. You can. cut your tofu to any size and you can do this with firm tofu soft tofu medium tofu whatever you got baby just go for it honey yep so now we're going to give this a flip and bring this on top cuz now these vegetables have a good enough color on them so bring them from the bottom and bring it to the top and push the tofu back right so that's how you keep doing it you keep pushing it to the back so that you always have this surface to work with yeah Okay, so I don't think we need any more charring than this. We are in a good place right now. It's a little noisy. Forgive me for that. Yeah, baby, look at the color of this thing. Isn't that dope? Like, wouldn't you love to eat this right now? If you want to do fried rice, just put day old rice in this mix and you'll have made at home fried rice. Yeah, you can say thank you later after you're done licking your fingers. In goes the slurry. Yeah. All of it. <coughs> so my daughter likes a little sauce with her vegetables so it's not going to be completely dry. If you have fresh basil at home, oh my god, this would be the right time to put it in. If you have Yeah. Well, you don't want to overcook it, Ursula. That's the thing. Like you don't want to overcook it. And I think overcooked vegetables are just overrated it's perfectly done it's going to simmer in the heat from you see how the sauce is simmering like all these bubbling things this is the slurry and the sauce that's simmering so that's going to add a lot of flavor to it if you have fresh basil this would be the time to add it in there i'm going to go in and add the rest of the garlic that i saved when you add that last bit of garlic all the way towards the end just before you're about to remove your dish from the stove top it just gives it a nice flavor and of course because we are doing indian style chinese we are going to hit it with some cilantro and some black pepper you can also use garam masala most indian style chinese places would put coriander powder and paprika in there i don't do that see easy peasy japanese well easy peasy chinese The slurry is made of cold water, cornstarch, some soy sauce, some store-bought hot sauce and some ketchup and some sugar. Like a teaspoon of sugar and that's it. Nothing else. Okay? I'm going to check the seasoning in here to make sure that it's salty enough. It does need a little salt, but I think I'm going to use the umami of the soy sauce instead of adding salt. That should do it. It is still simmering. So I feel like it's not sweet enough but you know what I don't want it too sugary So I'm just going to keep it right here and when you reach the desired consistency you can actually turn off your flame it's going to keep continuing to bubble up and the sauce is going to get thicker and thicker So really up to you how far you want to go and if you want to add some peanuts to it or if you want to add some broccoli to it like whatever you want to do make it your own you can even do this with a bag of vegetables that's sitting in your freezer so that's my quick tofu and vegetable dish for today my daughter is screaming with hunger the rice is also done so i'm out of here but you guys stay productive stay creative and cook with whatever you got don't forget to join me again in another one soon follow me on instagram queen's curry kitchen And also if you'd like to order any of my spices or my book 
it's www.queenscurrykitchen.com slash order online there's a whole product page in there any questions or any recipes you want me to make i'm happy to fulfill those wishes for you god bless america god bless you and thank you for joining me my lovelies i will see you again take good care bye bye